Hello there and welcome to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this amazing space shuttle in your world. This has got all of the materials and everything you'll need for the build, so don't go anywhere. And here are the materials that you'll need, so pause the video here and make sure you've got everything collected. The build's on a 1 to 1 scale, and so you'll need a space of 39 blocks by 25 blocks wide, and that will all fit within a height of 19 blocks. First of all, we're going to build the landing gear for this. Now, if you are building this up in the sky or flying, then you won't need this step, so you can just move directly to the next bit. But for the landing gear, we're going to come in nine blocks from the side and 10 blocks from the back. And this is excluding this red line. And on that ninth block and the 10th block from the back, we're going to place a block of coal. And moving across, we're going to do the same from the other side and place a block of coal. So nine blocks in and 10 blocks in from the back. And this will leave a gap of five between the two. So if you've done that right, you'll have a gap of five between. Now I'll just show you the rest on one side. First thing we're going to do is build some temporary blocks up. So we're going to go up four blocks, one, two, three, four, and get rid of those. And then we're going to come out two towards the front. So we've got three blocks like so. We're going to place some blackstone stairs here, and we're going to place some more blackstone stairs here. So they're facing upside down stairs facing towards each other with another set of stairs just here. Underneath those, we're going to place another three stairs but facing with the stair bit the l shape facing in towards the ship once we've done that we can take these three out we can then also add ourselves a grindstone here and a grindstone here just like so three trapdoors which are the dark oak closest to the black that we've got and we're going to flap those down and then to finish off these ones at the back we're going to place a birch button on here and on here so do the same on the other side but with the trapdoors and everything flipped now at the front we're simply going to come in one two three four and on the fifth block here place a block of coal with another one on top of it and then we're going to get rid of the one at the bottom like so we're going to come up here and place a grindstone single grindstone on top with a block of blackstone on top of that and all of this is blackstone with just the coal for the bottom bit and and then again we're going to place the birch buttons either side and that is all of your landing gear done once you've done that one as well next we're going to deal with the heat shielding and the actual shape of the shuttle if you decided to build this in the air without the landing gear then obviously you just carry this step on over the gaps that we've got for the landing gear here so we would come to the middle block here so first of all between these pieces of landing gear so the five blocks in the middle will be filling this in then we're going to bring this to the front of the landing gear like so. Then we're going to be bringing this out to the back and it's going to go five blocks. So that's five blocks in total. And we're going to bring this in line and complete all of this. Now on either side of the landing gear at the top block here, we're going to come out four, then five. And these are the black stone slabs, of course, then six, then level with this seven and that will take us to the edge of the area that we're building on. And we're gonna make this one come back by three blocks in total. Now we're just gonna fill this in till it meets up with our central section and do the same on the other way. Next, by the front landing gear, we are going to add ourselves a block here, a block at the front, just like so, and a block on the side. And then we're gonna fill in this section right the way across. So three here, right the way to the back. Once we've done that, we're going to come one block in from where we were with this and bring this right the way across. Then we're going to go one, two, three, and then fill this in. Then here, we're gonna go one, two, three, and fill it in again. Then we're going to go four this time. And then we're going to go four again. And then we'll just flip this and repeat it on the other side. To finish off the heat shielding at the back, we're going to switch to the polished blackstone slabs now. And we're going to bring in a line of these on each side, like so. This is going to come out here. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four on this. And then one, two, three, four, five for two layers with three at the back and then just filled in on the other side as well on the same. 
For the fuselage and wings, we're gonna start here on the first of these blackstone blocks and place a line of polished blocks of the blackstone here. Then next to that, we're gonna have two smooth quartz. Then we're gonna have a polished blackstone stair like this. Then round this corner, just curving around we're going to have a smooth quartz block with a smooth quartz full block here a smooth quartz stair that should be we'll do the same on the other side so block block then the blackstone stair the smooth quartz stair and a full smooth quartz block moving along to this section we're going to use some quartz slabs and place six like this skip one and then place three like this then using some polished blackstone we're going to come out from here fill in this gap like so to the edge. Next, we are gonna place ourselves two of the andesite slabs and fill in two stairs on this side or on two, and the rest are gonna be smooth quartz slabs going like this. And we'll do that on the other side as well. Now we're going to get some smooth quartz blocks and we're going to place these here. So we've got two here and two next to that to give an L shape and then six here. Once we've done six, we're going to place some stairs and these stairs are going to run all the way along till we've got two blocks left. Then we're going to curve one round into itself and finish off with a smooth quartz slab on the edge here. We're going to fill some more stairs in here. We're going to have one stair and then we're going to go one, two, three and then curve one round. That's a fourth stair like so. Then with some andesite slabs, we're going to bring these all the way along the edge until we get to this last one, which is going to be a regular quartz slab and fill in the rest with smooth quartz. And then we repeat this on the other side. Next, we're going to put a line of three of the smooth quartz here. So in the middle of the landing gear section and one block in. And we're going to put another line here, one, two, three. We're going to place one block here and one block here. Then skip a block and then fill in four. Skip a block, one, two, three, four, five even. And that will leave us some places for some lights that we're going to add in a bit. Next, we're going to add in some of the black stone that's going to go around this. Now on one side, it doesn't matter which, leave a space here so that we can power the lighting. Uh, aside from that, we're going to fill all of this in. Now we're going to carry this on and go one, two, three more on each side, two, three. On the front of this, we're also going to go one, two, and three with an extra block just here. And then we're going to place three slabs just on the top side of these blocks. Alongside these, we're going to have one stair that is the right way up. Then we're going to place some temporary blocks uh, and we'll place a couple of andesite here because actually one of them we're going to keep. We will then put an upside down stair here and an upside down stair there on both sides like so. Then we can get rid of the back andesite. We're keeping that one. We're then going to place an andesite stair there and an andesite stair at the other side with an andesite walkway. And now we're going to place two beds and then shift click another couple of beds on top of that. In these final three spaces, we're going to place ourselves some furnaces. So we're going to go one, two, three and then one two three like so moving to the back we're going to place ourselves three quartz here then we're going to place a crafting table and a barrel facing out from here and then we're going to place three barrels on the other side with a quartz and then a lectern just in this space now this bit's a little bit tricky so we're going to place some temporary blocks and again i'll just use the quartz just to demonstrate we're going to place ourselves four temporary blocks and then we're going to make sure we place upside down waxed cut copper stairs like so and we're going to place some on the other side like this just like that so we've got the bottom part of what is going to be a big tube and then we're going to place the top ones on top like so as well in the corners so we've got like a cylinder running all the way down this now place one of the smooth quartz slabs to form a transition here and then we get some iron trapdoors and we fill in the flooring with some iron trapdoors like so last thing in this stage is to fill in these lights with some redstone lamps and then we're going to have ourselves some levers to power those redstone lamps themselves First of all, we are going to place ourselves some observers and these are going to be as decorative blocks. I'm going to place two facing out here, two facing into the cockpit like so, and then some just on the edge there and there with two more shift clicking facing into the cockpit and cabin just there on top of the furnaces. 
Next, we're going to add ourselves, again, shift clicking, a shulker box, and that's a light gray shulker box at the bottom of the bed. If you don't have shulker boxes, then chests will do, but they won't look quite as good. Now we've got some black stone, so we're going to go three black stone this side, three black stone this side, a cross of black stone here, and some buttons, one, two, three, on there. We've then got two walls on either side, well, one on either side, rather. Then coming to the back here, we've got some smooth quartz, one, two, three on this side and only two on this side with a gap just there coming inside we've got a crafting bench covered with a trapdoor then we've got a trapdoor here and shift clicking a trapdoor just like so and that will give us a little escape hatch that we can get in and out of and here just for decoration we're going to use a comparator like so now we're going to place ourselves a door and the door is on this block here so not including this block because we're going to put some ladders up there now some quartz is going to go round and we're going to shift click on here as well bring the quartz all the way till we get to these observers on both these two sides like so we're going to put one quartz block here with a stair on either side of this and a stair just there like this we're going to place ourselves an observer looking into there just again for decoration we've got some black stone on either side of this observer Server, one piece of black stone in the middle and then we've got the slabs just on top there now we are going to use some of these here iron trapdoors and place these so we've got one two three four five six seven just like this on this upper level we are going to place a couple of seats here and here with some lightning rods as some control sticks next to these we'll place a comparator here and a comparator here and then in front of this we're going to place ourselves some quartz so there's going to be a quartz there and a quartz there with two observers sticking out like so next we'll have a quartz on this side and a quartz on this side with a stair on either side of the quartz and then we'll have a slab and a slab and a slab with two more stairs the right way up of course on either side here next to this we're going to actually use some birch logs because it looks like some writing on the side of the actual ship itself and then fill in these last two with some quartz just there the last thing to do is for us to place some of the lights there and then if we head down here we can get ourselves a couple of levers and we can place the levers on the underside of these and power them and then we're going to take a trapdoor and put it just on top of this one here like this now we're going to add some tinted glass so one piece goes here one piece goes here and one piece goes here in front of this we use a regular quartz slab and then down the sides we've got two smooth quartz slabs one on each side like so next to this we've got two quartz stairs like this and then we are going to place ourselves a detector rail here on top of that with a button just here blackstone button just there uh, then finally we are going to place two more quartz up here we've got another one of these trapdoors to go on top and now we can add in our access way which is going to be some ladders coming up to the top here as well to finish off this area we are going to start by placing ourselves three of the iron trapdoors and that will give us something to place against and we can then place some quartz just covering up the top like so either side of this we're going to be using the quartz slabs so we've got smooth quartz here but quartz slabs here and then we're going to place ourselves in the bottom of this a nice little trapdoor and that's going to give us the access from the roof to this entire build next at the back of the ship we've got the birch again and we're placing two birch on either side like this again to give us some writing now we're going to place some quartz so we've got two quartz slabs on either one of these then we've got some stairs that are coming right the way along here with the very last one being one that uh, curves in like so so from the front we'll have one facing this way the rest of the smooth quartz coming across like this then we'll finish off at the back with a iron trapdoor here and a weighted pressure plate here so on this side a pressure plate here level with these stairs and an iron trapdoor just behind that now for the payload bay we're going to start by placing doors at the far end we're going to place a door here and then we're going to come up and place a trapdoor by shift clicking on top and then using some smooth quartz blocks we're going to build up three high on this side and then we're going to build lines of three high all the way along this
Once we've built those, we're going to take some quartz stairs, and this is not the smooth ones, and run these along this wall on both sides as well. And then we're going to run some more along the top. We're going to fill in a line of smooth quartz just here, and then on the inside, we are going to place ourselves some upside down stairs level with the top of this. Lastly, on top, we are going to place ourselves some of the quartz and smooth quartz blocks. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the smooth quartz blocks first, uh, slabs first of all, and go three, and then leave two gap, and then come three, two gap, so on and so forth, right the way along. And then run the smooth quartz, the quartz down the middle rather, and then fill in the sides with smooth quartz like this. For the engine section at the back, we're going to go to the polished blackstone and we're going to build this up five wide by five high. Once we've done that, we're going to build another tank up here, but first of all, we need to connect this. So we're going to replace that last but one block with a polished deep slate. And then we're going to place a prismarine wall. Now, if you don't have any prismarine walls, you could use a different wall, like maybe andesite or something. But we are now going to build another tank up here. And so using the waxed cut copper, we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. And then the same on the sides to make a big cross. And with this, we're going to then use some wax cut copper stairs all the way around to turn this into more of a cylinder on the side, like so. The last thing we're going to do on this is place ourselves a grill on the front and then place a couple of fence gates against that with an end rod here and an end rod here and the same here and here. Again, if you haven't got end rods, you can use chains. First of all, for the walls, we're going to come in here and we're going to place ourselves a birch trap door. Then we're going to place a stair and then we're going to place two more stairs like this. Next, we're just going to take some of the smooth quartz and run this across for two layers on this side. On the other side, we're simply going to fill this up right the way across the build for these two layers like so. Now into this area, we are going to run ourselves some of the repeaters going across all the way down. And again, these are just for decoration. We've got two stairs that are going to curve round into these, two more into this side as well. And this point, we are going to start adding in some extra stairs coming around. So there's going to be one block sitting on each of these sides. And that is going to be the start for this set of stairs that are going to be upside down and curve round. And these are going to come one block past just like this so same on the other side upside down stairs coming around this way and then placing your stairs along just like this until we are one block past then we're going to have one stair here and one stair here and then we're going to bring some smooth stone all the way along to this point on both sides and then we have some polished black stone like this that's going to go on the front and lastly we're going to have two upside down stairs here and here at the top of the boost modules we're going to start with some smooth quartz running right the way around the edge of these two sections once that's done we're going to switch to some of the black stone we're going to run a black stone block here here and all the way across the top up until this point and then we're going to have an upside down blackstone stair then an upside down smooth quartz stair on this side and on this side and lastly we're going to finish off by placing some of the smooth quartz slabs over covering the top section for the tail fin we're going to start by placing a block here then we're going to place one two three four five up there here then four then two and one here on the back here we're going to place ourselves a stair that's going to be upside down we're going to leave a two block gap and then we're going to place four more blocks and then two more coming out the back just like so on the front of this we are then going to place ourselves a black stone and then we're going to place two of the black stone walls in this gap next we're going to place two black stone walls here two black stone walls here and we're then going to start placing some of the black stone so we're going to go one one two and this one's going to have a slab on top then we're going to go one and one two again and there's going to be a slab on top of both of these with some more black stone coming out this way and a wall here on the outside of this we're going to use some diorite walls because unfortunately there isn't any quartz walls in the game yet and this is just going to come out round the back like so and you've got your finished fin 
The final stage before the decoration is to build all of the boosters on the back. So one thing that I noticed first of all is that these two blocks should actually curve in underneath just like that. Uh, but we're going to build three boosters here. Uh, the first one is going to be starting here and we're going to come out by two blocks. The next one is going to be starting here and come out by two blocks. And the third one is going to be coming out from here by two blocks. Now underneath these we are going to place ourselves a slab and a slab on these ones as well. So all of these are identical. And then here we've got ourselves a stair and then a stair. We'll do the same on the others as well. So the stair and then a stair underneath. And lastly, this edge one underneath stair and a stair on top. Now we're going to get some of the walls and we're going to place two walls out the side like this on each one to make it a bit more round. And now we place ourselves a shroom light in the middle of each of them. And shroom lights are brilliant because they look like perfect thrusters. Uh, and then surround this with some more of the cobbled deep slate on each of these. And the last step for these ones is to come around with some more stairs and just round these off like so. Can be a little bit fiddly to get these in the right place. And there we go, just like this. Now there are two other little boosters and those simply come out from here. So you've got a wall and a wall on these two sides with a piece of cobbled deep slate on each of them. And those are just the extra little additional thrusters. And yeah, that is now your finished ship. And to decorate the ship, first of all, we're going to put the writing that comes on the top of the wing. Obviously, we can't actually put the writing on there. So we're going to use some polished diorite. And then on the alternate side, there is a NASA logo. But without the blue in the game, then this is the closest that we've got, unfortunately. Uh, there are some other decorations, which I'll get into in a second. The other thing to do is obviously this is a very big flat space. So go through as you wish, moving some of the blocks and replacing them with some of the calcite, some of the blocks of quartz uh, just in there uh, and some of the quartz bricks just to mix things up a bit because otherwise it can look a little bit flat uh, the other thing that you can use if you wish is blocks of iron with within that and also some bone blocks if you wanted to so i'm just going to go through that now How, however many you put of these in there is entirely up to you but i'll go through and show you what i've done now i've added some texture to the shuttle there's some more decoration that we're going to be doing uh, the first one is we are going to be placing on this side and this side only a crimson sign and then two blocks along from that we are going to place ourselves a birch sign and this birch sign is going to go on this other side just here like so now we've got some buttons and we're going to be using the polished blackstone buttons and these are going to be the same on both sides of the ship so we'll place one button here and one button here so this is just next to that sign then we're going to carry these on every two all the way along until we get two from the end here. After two buttons, we're gonna come down and have an extra button here, which is again, another entrance way. And then at the back, we've got three that come here, one that goes just above this stair, and then two on the fin, one here and one here, just like that. So repeat those on the other side. And then the last thing to do will be for me to show you how to do the, the banners. There are three banners we're gonna make. The first one is the American flag, and that is a very simple one. Uh, it's not a detailed American flag because it needs to go the other way than you would normally have. Uh, so it is just simply a red banner with the blue right hand corner. So we've got that one now. The next one is the NASA logo. Again, a very, very simple one. So you get a white banner and you place a blue ball in the middle of that one, just like this. And the last one, we're going to have a couple of variations of that. And it's a black banner. And the first thing that we do is put some white in and we get ourselves the uh, white checkerboard pattern. Once we've got that, we put it back in and we do the white barrier around the edge. And that gives us the basis. We can then pick any of these different designs to split it up into various different things that we would have in order to make it look like some letters so you can have it like that or if we take another one here and do the same again you can just simply m mess about with these to see whichever ones you think are the best so you've got that one there you can have one with a cross there to get a different looking text you can have one with a, just a line going across you can have one with a line there there's lots and lots of different variations that you can have including uh, things like this and mixing it up so you might have have this one and then you might decide to put a big line across the middle and by having a mixture of these different things and we'll do one last one just for the sake of it uh, we'll do this one here 
and let's do the cross pattern just to have something a bit more different so with these three you can mix and match them and where we're going to be placing these is on the side of the ship so if we come over here we're going to be placing these uh, just at random here uh, so let's just take a couple of these and then one like this and then another one of these at the end to get some texts that just looks pretty cool and then we will have the American flag at the end there just so when you look at it from a distance you get something that's a bit more like the the United States name there and then we also have this flag that we're going to put just here so we'll do that on both of the sides and yeah feel free to experiment if you've got different designs for your banners and with a couple more buttons added one here and one here on each side that is now the finished space shuttle now the build's finished let's have a quick look at the interior with the ad craft futuristic texture pack on uh, as you can see the redstone lamps have been changed and updated if we come through here to this area then we can see there's some changes to things like the barrels and also to the lectern to make it look a bit like a, uh, a control console and then we head through to the front of the ship and we've got this lovely little area and this would work as a little base for everybody you've got here the crafting table has obviously been changed as well and we've yeah got the furnaces have been changed as well and updated so let's head up here the ladders uh, and we've got great views out of our space shuttle so that is now the finished build i've created another version of it just up in the air over here i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please Please let me know in the comments and leave a like it really does help the channel the world download for this world including the flying and the landed version is available to my patrons so go and check that out if you'd like to support the channel and all that's left to be said is thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time on adcraft